34 plus 35 Ariana Grande music video makeup tutorial. A new video of Ariana Grande is out, 34 plus 35, and I absolutely love it. I love her makeup look that she had, so that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna be recreating it, and if you like these recreation, make sure to like the video, and to consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you wanna see five videos a week, Monday through Friday, all on beauty. So let's get into this little makeup tutorial right away because ee, and i'm gonna do the face very very quickly i already primed i already put some really liquid highlighter all over my face as you can see it's kind of like super cute i'll just pass quickly to the face and then we'll go to the eyes all right so taking the again hd lifting concealer from elf i'm just gonna be contouring my face with it and just blending it out with a sponge which you're gonna be like you're using a sponge right now yes i am back with sponges i didn't use them in a while but this is just for the sake of it oh and i put back my little earrings i also put the ponytail that she has all the time less hair i don't have extensions but it still looks good i try to put some gel there but my hair really doesn't want to stay there and it's extra extra strong it looks better than last time though and then i will go with the elf 16 hour camo concealer and the reason why i'm using this one is because it's a little bit more yellow and i'll just put this a little bit to color correct my face so you know like where i have some acne in these areas and it's gonna add a little bit more coverage because her skin is literally flawless you can see that she has a full coverage glam it looks quite good except for maybe this area right here it doesn't want to do anything much but it's okay we're gonna go into the foundation and i was thinking of going with the mac studio fix fluid today i'm gonna be putting it on my little palette right here and then using my beauty blender once again and then i'll just go on top and then we'll just blend everything in all around to have a really Really full coverage foundation for the rest and then the 24 hour smooth wear concealer from MAC cosmetics and we'll put that under the eyes and where we need to highlight because she's highlighted everywhere and I love it and then we blend 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 all of this in so we are highlighted base is done and now we just need to set everything in place and I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier setting powder with a little puff that I already had um, and we're just gonna go all around starting from the eyes and then going all around the face. I am <laughs> literally dried up, okay? So no more moisture whatsoever in my face. She's just beautiful. She's just so stunning. And I just wanted to put a little bit of bronze everywhere. So I'm gonna be using the, uh, this is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in a light bronzer. And I'm just gonna be tapping, dusting that off on my forehead and also on here on my cheeks. You can see that she has a tiny amount of blush. So I'm gonna go into the Natasha Denona Diamond Blush Palette and only going into the powder blush so it's very muted and it's just gonna look very cute. And she has highlighter literally everywhere. So I'm gonna go with the highlighter right here and I'm just gonna dust this like right here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go do my brows really quickly off camera because there's really nothing special. It's just filling them in and then I'll be right back to do the eyes. All right, so eyebrows is done. It was quite easy, longer than I thought, but it's okay. <laughs> so when I look at her makeup, she definitely has something more pinky, but I don't have the exact color that she has. So I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna have to literally blend two shades together which is gonna end up doing this color it looks like more like one shade on her eyes two palettes i'm gonna be mixing today uh, i tried it before <laughs> before to see if it was this good color so i'm gonna go into the one size eyeshadow palette and the huda beauty amethyst obsession and the two colors i'm gonna be uh blending today together for this eye look i'm gonna go into top of my game which is that really cool tone beautiful uh, brownish color it's a taupe color which is really good for my skin tone and going into the amethyst obsession palette i'm gonna go into this really pinky shade right here so if you don't have a specific shade you can definitely blend them together and it's gonna create a new one you just have to dip into one dip into the other and it, it will create the color so as you can see it does do like a little pinky shade and i'm just bringing this like all around taking the excess and i'm just gonna blend it right there especially over the crease since i have hooded eyes 
It has a bit lighter in the inner corner, so I'm gonna take the shade Manila Sand, which is that really pale shade that is in the one size eyeshadow palette, and I'm just gonna place this right in the inner corner. So I go in and I just pat it on, and this is gonna highlight everything, and if there's any harsh edges, I just take this shade and I just blend it into everything that I need to blend. And I take a little liner and brush going back into these two shades. So top of my game and the other shade from Huda Beauty palette. And I'm just going to start by sketching out the line where I want because she has two liners. She has a black one and a white one. And of course, I'm going to do this with my eyes open because I want this to be nice. <laughs> so let's start off with this one. And I take my little fluffy brush and I'm just going to buff this in. A little bit more of the pink just to intensify it. Okay, so that looks really, really good. And I think we're going to be ready for the liners. Oh my god, this is so exciting. I'm going to go with two liners today. She has white and black. And I'm going to be using both of the Suva Beauty eyeliners. Um, And I think I'm going to start with the black one <laughs> just because I'm like... It's going to be less messy than I let it dry and then I can put the white on top of it. So the black one, definitely the first. And then we can put the details of the white on top. Okay, so I have a little bit of water. I'm just going to go into it right away. And we're going to put this very, very close to the lash line. And then I line the black all the way over there. It's just really to start where we're going to put the white afterwards. It's really just, you know, to put something there. Taking another brush, going into the white. So I'm just gonna go and mix it. And then we have to be precise on this one. I am standing up, so I'm just grounding myself and we're just gonna be ready to go. So this goes from all the way in the inner corner to the outer corner and then it goes back like this. So we're just gonna do this. The white one is definitely thicker than the black one, so. All right, so this eye is done. This is exactly what you got to do. You just line everything with the black liner and then you go back with the white one. Of course, it's going to look a bit different because my eyes are really hooded. So this is just trying. Don't touch it. Don't touch it anymore. And then we do the other eyes. And then after that, this is going to be done. I just need to do my lips, um, my lashes, everything. And it's going to be literally amazing this is done and i noticed during the video she has a little bit of shimmer on her eyelids so i wanted to wait before doing that so we're gonna do that now and i'm gonna go into the one size eyeshadow palette going into that little beautiful pink shimmer and i'm not gonna put like a packer brush or anything i'm just gonna put my really fluffy brush put it on there and just dust it kind of like everywhere and that will kind of do the look. Mm -hmm. I also noticed she has kind of like loose glitter kind of everywhere. So I'm going to go with the Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush Palette and going into this one. And this is super glittery. This is, you just need a tiny bit, especially here. Because that's what she has. So I think I'm going to stay up close like that to do my lips as well. And I wanted to go, she has something less nude. I would say that it's darker than usual. So I think I'm going to go into that game changer from Huda Beauty. But before I'm just going to line my lips really quickly. And I'm just going to go with a regular little Sephora. This is lip liner. It's a mini one. It looks cute. I love the color and it goes very, very well with the Huda Beauty one. This is cute. Some little juicy lips then Huda Beauty in Game Changer I'm just gonna be using this one like I remove the excess from the little applicator because I think there's always too much I'm taking another one which is the Kat Von D and then I will go do my lashes off camera and then I will be right back Right, so the only thing that I need is a setting spray. So I'm gonna go with the MAC Fix Plus. Hopefully this doesn't don't go down. <laughs> this is just to set my face and to make everything last all day because I feel literally so pretty. Like this makeup look is just wow. And I feel like it's pretty spot on when you look at her and you look at me like, I tried to use the same colors as much as I could. Yeah, so this is the 3435. 
34 plus 35 makeup tutorial from the Ariana Grande music video that just came out so I'm excited to share it with you uh, if you like this makeup look make sure to like the video and to comment down below what you like the most about this makeup look and if you want me to recreate a makeup look in particular from someone or a music video make sure to comment down below as well and consider subscribing to my youtube channel if you want to see more videos like these five videos a week Monday through Friday so this is it um thank you so much for watching I really really love you beauties and I will definitely see you in the next one Bye, beauties.